What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to, uh, I guess not welcome back, but... Welcome to... Okay, shut up. <laughs> We're going to play The Outer Worlds <clears throat> from the beginning to the end. I'm going to break up these parts into about two hours each, I think. I think that's probably a good amount of time to play, and it's probably going to be more digestible that way. However, the game is 30 to 40 hours, so I understand... It might be a while. Right. If you enjoy story more than combat, in story mode, enemies have less health and do less damage. Normal... This is the recommended mode for your first play session. In normal, enemies have standard health and damage. Hard. They have more health and do more damage. Jesus. <clears throat> Can only be selected at the start of the game and is recommended for advanced players. Supernova mode adds additional challenges to the game. If you reduce the difficulty below Supernova, you cannot re-enable it. Enemies have more health and deal more damage. You must eat, drink, and sleep to survive. Companions can die permanently. Crippled body and limb conditions can only be healed with bed rest. Weapons and armor work very poorly at zero durability. You can only fast travel to your ship. You can only sleep inside your ship. You can only manually save while inside your ship, and auto saves are limited. Jesus. I'm going to go with normal. <laughs> Conversation <laughs> subtitles on show bark. Subtitles? Some titles? Show words spoken outside of conversation. Yeah, that's fine. Show cinematic subtitles. Probably just on to all. I'm a big subtitle fan. I like being able to read stuff. Why stay earthbound when prosperity awaits you in the stars? Come to Halcyon, the only colony on the edge of the frontier owned and operated by corporations. A trip of 10 short years will feel like mere minutes thanks to the comfort and safety of your very own hibernation chamber. You'll wake up in a perfect society designed to maximize your productivity with guaranteed full employment. Ooh. With only a minor term of service, you will become the master of your own destiny. When you go out of this world to the Halcyon Colony. This is just Fallout in space. <clears throat> space out. of thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. Oh, we get to make a character. This is Michael's favorite part. He likes to make obscure shit. <clears throat> Alright, what are we doing here? Um... I'm going to be honest, I'm a big charm and intelligence fan. I'm a big intelligence fan. Let's read what they all do, though. Okay, strength. Affects melee weapon damage and the amount you can carry. So, fall outy. Mm -hmm. Affected skills, one-handed melee, two-handed melee, heavy weapons, block, inspiration, intimidate. Who cares? I don't care about any of that. <clears throat> Dexterity affects melee attack speed and range weapon reload speed. I don't really care about that as much either. One-handed melee, handguns, dodge, block, sneak, lock, pick. We have six points. Intelligence affects a critical hit bonus damage. Long guns persuade. Okay. Hack medical science determination. I'm going to put one point in this at least. Perception uh, affects headshot and weak spot damage bonuses. Eh. Affected skills, handgun, long gun, heavy weapons, dodge, lockpick, engineer, bonus to extra, headshot, weak spot damage, sure. Charm. Uh, affects faction reputation and companion ability cooldowns. I feel like that's going to be the most useful. But I also value stuff like that a lot higher. It's the most useful in the in the like speech check stuff. That's what I love. That's uh, the interaction point there at the... least. Uh, persuade, lie, intimidate, hack, <clears throat> science, inspiration, and then temperament improves your natural health regeneration. That seems not bad. We got four points left. Where are you, where are we putting these bad boys? Well, we can also move stuff down. I Frank think. is charming and intelligent. This checks out. Wow. Wow, we can move stuff down? Yeah. High oh. blood pressure. Could keep you from blacking out, at least. Yikes. 
Okay, below I average strength. Ready to shoulder a burden, is that the lowest you can make it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, below average is fine. What? Really? Unless you really want to do a melee build, there's no reason to do that. I like this. I like the storage <clears throat> capacity. I like being able to carry more. That's bad management. Wow. Yeah, but like, it's. Oh, well, let's see the difference. Eighty kilograms versus, versus sixty. Muscular ain't a lot. is practically a hobby of this colony. What is 100% tactical time dilation move time? What does that mean? I don't know. Tactical time dilation drain for movement is double. I don't even know what that means. I don't even know what that means. How high can it we go? It says here that you solved mathematical problems just for fun. I did. I was real good at will hunting. Why don't we just go top you're charm, top to like. intelligence? Should come in handy if you're stopped by a guard. I'm, I'm rolling it. Next. Okay, what do we got here? Oh, God. <laughs> Two points available. Oh, dialogue. Tech, leadership. I, I know what Thank I'd put you. it in. What are you putting it in? Zimini Pod, thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. I'd probably put one point into some gun, but the problem is I don't know what guns we're going to use yet. But I'm a big fan of handguns and, like, long guns. Like, I just like regular guns in games. I don't like freaking crazy cannons and stuff. Yeah, same. But also, that's the only real... That's the only gun <clears throat> one anyway. <clears throat> There's only ranged. Everything else is melee, defense, dialogue, stealth, tech, and leadership. Wow, plus 173% companion health? 173 companion health? That seems good. I like dialogue. You could probably talk your way out of a landing ticket. That's my pick. What's your pick? I'd put one in ranged, one in dialogue. It's fine. Okay, I like that. Uh, each point of range significantly increases handgun, long gun, and heavy weapon skills up to 50 points each. After 50, you can specialize by adding points directly to handguns, long guns, and heavy weapons. A crack shot. Capital. Capital. Aptitude. Okay. No discernible aptitude. Colonists sounded like a nice entry-level career for a person of your skills. Expanding humanity's reach by civiliz civilizing the cosmic frontier was ambitious enough without worrying about your day job. You have the rest of your life to decide how to be useful in Halcyon. Determination 1. Beverage service technician. Drink nope. effectoration. I, I'm like, I don't ever care about drinking stuff. Block plus one. Eh, that feels... No. Cashier persuade plus one. I mean, I'm probably taking this. <clears throat> Shock damage minus three. Hmm. Engineer. Like, stuff like this, I'm like, eh, that's too obscure. I don't really care Unless about it. Unless it was like all... If it was like all the things, then I'd be minus like, Minus three, yeah. I'd be like, yeah, that's not bad. <clears throat> Zimmy Pot, Frank, over one year. Thank you for all the laughs and good times. Keep up the good work. Oh, and I won my local FNM with that Simic Hydra deck. People didn't know. That's amazing, dude. That's gas. I'm so glad to hear it. How big? What was your biggest Hydra? Tell us about your biggest Biogenesis Bioessence Hydra. Uh, engineering plus one, Dodge plus one. These are just. These are just. I think these are just uh, flavor, right? Yeah. Sometimes quality control means sampling a delicious Borst smoothie. <laughs> Wasn't that your girlfriend's name, Borst? Yeah, Borst. But most of the time, means swallowing toxins until you find one that stays down. You love a good surprise. Now that your stomach lining has the consistency of a broken-in saddle, it's easy to explore your culinary... This de this game definitely does have a lot of Fallout flavor. Corrosion damage, negative three. Inspiration, plus one. Medical, plus I don't know what inspiration one. really means. <clears throat> I think that's the... I guess you go back, yeah. Can I? I don't think I can. I think I'm no, still... Not yet. I think that's a speechy thing. I think it is. Yeah, I think it's, I think it has to do with companions. Uh, it was a thirty nine thirty nine on like turn six. That's insane, dude. Medical plus one seems decent. Science plus one seems okay. Um, uh, persuade. We only get one. So what are you thinking? You can pick. Uh, what's the last one? Uh, one hit and melee plus one. Something that's no interest to us. Yeah, we'd have to be specific. Oh, it's melee. Oh, I thought it was like one-handed weapons. No, it's just melee. No, no it's no, just no. melee. Uh, medical plus one seems okay. Yeah. All right. Maybe you can do something about this uh, lump in my neck. I can't. I'm sorry. Gender. Oh. They have red eyes. <laughs> Face. Oh, <clears throat> crying out loud. This is going to be a nightmare. Just find the first one you think seems fine. And just pick <laughs> with it. Is that what you do? No, I go. I spend like an hour doing this. There was one that we was. We can either right. make funny or serious. What do you feel like? I think well, I think serious. Okay, that seems fine.
The darks are super dark. <clears throat> I think that's fine. I'm not gonna nitpick. Oh. Those are cat eyes. White eyes. I guess those are kind of pale blue. Oh, that's, that's those are some neat. scary eyes. Are those changing color? I can't tell. No, no. Purple <clears throat> eyes, boy. <throat> you know how you can tell you're a Sith Lord? <laughs> Red eyes. <laughs> what do you think? You care? Nah, not really. You're like, Whatever nah, you I don't really care. You're probably right. not gonna see it that often, so. Look how look at look at the detail here, in the brow. It's barely noticeable. It really is, dude. I like them high brows. Go with the high. Yeah, that's fine. Brow vertical. <clears throat> Whatever, that's fine. I don't care about that. Eye horizontal. Oh, just don't like me look like a freak. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that's. <clears throat> Like, all of these averages are fine. I'm not like... Yeah, this is all fine. Mouth size? Oh, we can Mike B it. Make that <laughs> super tiny, my dude. It's not even that tiny. Stan it's not... A yeah, yours is smaller than that. Wow. <laughs> Standard B. Thank you so much for the bits, buddy. Really appreciate it. Asian Pacific Islander bits. <laughs> About that vertical mouth. That's too low, and that's too high. So, just right. No... Oh, God. No size. <clears throat> I'll just leave all this stuff. I don't really care about any of this. Hair, I do. Hair, 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 we do hair will do. Oh, there we go. Got some Super Saiyan hair. Can I zoom out here? Doesn't look like it. Let's. I would change the color a little lighter just so we can see the oh, we details a little better. Up. Okay. I was going to go to. I wanted to go to. You change the what? Oh, the, the color. color so we can see it better. That's what I was actually going to do. I was going to raise the gamma a little bit. It's not that much brighter. It's not, yeah. There's also 42 hair colors, so... <laughs> 50 hair colors. Jesus. Oh, facial hair. Let's figure out. Oh, right there. Shut right. up and take my There's money! some chops. Who made that even? One, <laughs> 110. Haji Galashi, thank you so much. Oh, the Tony Stark. I kind of like that. Oh, there's a pirate. That's a pirate beard right there. Which one? No, keep going. Other way. Right there. That's a pirate beard. That feels like a colonialist. A, col a colonial. Colonialist? I like this. Can we do this? I don't like soul patches. Eyebrow style? But they go well with this mustache. Do they? How, how about the unibrow? No, please no. <clears throat> I like a thin eyebrow. Is that how you do yours? I lean towards the thin. Do you? When you when you manicure your eyebrows? Yeah. All right, I can. Can I go left or right? I guess I can just click on these. There we go. Well, that was fancy. This? Yeah. You like that? I want to raise the gamma, but I can't do it from here, unfortunately. Yeah, it's a little dark. <clears throat> oh, nice. This is like, this That's is old just Vlad the Impaler look. style. I kind of like that. That's a quaff. We got a real I'll say I'll say look with this with this facial hair. I kind of like that. I'm always a fan of the, uh, basically as close to my haircut as I can get. <laughs> <clears throat> I just want my character to be like me. I like that one. I, I do like that one, actually. It's very modern. Mohawk it. There we go. Yeah, balding. That's what I want. A five head. <laughs> a five head? Yeah. What does that mean? Oh, it's a four. got a five head, man. <laughs> look at that. Let's do this one. I like right. this one. <clears throat> now we gotta just figure out the color. We could go crazy. A nice purple. I feel like there's like 20 different purples. I feel like it's either purple or a normal color. 
Like, I can't tell what that color actually is, really. Some form of blonde? Yeah, I think, it's, I think it does have a yellow. I'm also fine with normal hair. Or purple. If we're going to have a color, it has to be purple. <clears throat> I like that. Okay. Facial hair color. Can I match it? I think, I think it's fine. I'm good without. Makeup? Oh, jeez. Oh. Shut mm. up and take my money. Kid Cabbage, thank you so much for the, the donation. Oh, you money? want some dirt, man? <laughs> oh, wow. You can literally dirty up your <clears throat> face. <clears throat> What's no, I don't like that. But let's get a nice scar. All right, we got 14 different options for scars. Oh, I do kind of like that one. Just subtle underneath the underneath the mustache. All right, we got that guy over These are there. Mostly all subtle. Oh, I like that Wolverine scar. You want to know how I got these scars? <laughs> wow. <clears throat> Some of them. Oh, they're on. Oh. That just looks like he slept on. A, yeah, he slept on a weird way. bed. Yeah. I gotta keep. I don't even see that one. It's above the. Oh, eye. I like this Sagat one. Yeah, I like the Sagat. I'm a big Where's fan the... of that. Okay, so I think it's either. I don't even, again, I still can't see that one. Oh, it's on both eyes. That's interesting. I like that one. Yeah, let's do that. Age. Yeah, just fine. Is that's fine. Okay, so use next. All right, we did it. What's our name? <clears throat> Serious or funny? <laughs> no, we can't be mutual, man. Or we have to change the character look. Oh my god. What's our name, guys? What should our name be? Give him a Thanos chin. <laughs> name him Bort. <laughs> All right, deal. Oh, Bort E. Uh, enter as accept. All right. Oh, this is just like the overview. What was the thing we were looking at? What did we want to know <clears throat> what it was? Uh, inspiration. The inspiration skill increases the damage inflicted by your companions. That's good to know. Okay. All right, we did it. Also, the only thing I hate about picking all those early stats is, like, Looks to be your you don't know how the game, leveling system works or not, so, like, you don't know what that might be relevant or not. Deal with it. Is this my pod? Am I in this pod? I guess we'll find out. Please power down your engines and prepare to be... Not likely, bootlickers. Wow. <laughs> Initiate skip jump. The old skip jump, huh? Well, I've only been recording for 18 minutes, so that was like less than 20 minutes to create this guy. Yeah, but it took me an hour. If I was doing it myself. Well, same, yeah, because we'd, we'd, be, we'd be perfectionist. <sighs> Shit. Is that your dad? That's your dad. It might be. That's why he's not around. He went into space. Got him. Ah, there you are. Wondering what's going on, eh? Bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on Hope have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. Normally, <laughs> reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. Oh, well. Something wrong? Oh, yes, well, not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see here. Yeah? Oh. Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. <laughs> now, my ship is Thank you. inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck!
How's the volume levels, guys? Is the game loud enough compared to our voices? So do you think that guy's a bad guy or a good guy? I think he's a good guy. Do you know? I don't Is this know. Thing working? I don't know anything about ah, this game. There you are. Now, uh, where were we? Oh, yes. A smuggler. His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. And not to worry. I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing gunslinger, one of a kind ship, that sort of thing. You'll like him, I'm sure. I've also outfitted you game with a simple go up wireless a monitor so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm uh, all the colonists are counting on you. <clears throat> I'm gonna turn the brightness and the game audio up just a little bit once we get to an option screen. What a hunk of junk. I mean, maybe it could have done its job perfectly as oh, far as I know. You've landed good. Hawthorne should be close by. What in law's name? Is that him? Oh, that idiot. I told him to plant the beacon and move away, not stand there holding it. Oh well, no sense in letting his ship go to waste. Okay, settings. Let's go to audio. I'll bump it up to 65, see if that works. And gamma, I'll bump up to 50. They're always like, adjust it so you can barely see the left logo. And I'm like, mm, I want to see it a little better than barely. Just because generally things darker just look better. Awesome. That, that might be too much. So let's go down to 40. Five, we'll say. Look how meticulous I am. Like it's got to be exactly forty-five. This is like my minor OCD. Mind you, taking your ship. Better you than the board, huh? Okay. Not sure I trusted the fellow. Might have gone after the bounty on my head. Shame about the whole squashing thing. Nasty way to go. Oh, there's a. You can see this green. This green dot over here is where we want to be. This looks very good. That 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 uh that marker was for our jump obstacle. They're like, all right, at, at this point you're gonna be jumping. Oh, now you got a duck. Troll, buddy, yeah. I know how to duck. It's like my first my first first person shooter. Just trying to guess and make sure I got it right. Yeah, you did. I'd be weird if it was like X, but. <clears throat> Sprint is an on-off, not just a hold, so. That's always nice. Who am I? Is this guy alive? He looked pretty dead to me, dog. He ain't got no legs. Doesn't he? Oh, he don't have no, legs. No, he don't got no legs. I have no legs. Ooh, there's no reflection in the water though. That's a, that's a knock against this game. Where are we sneaking from right now? I don't know. It's telling me. To oh, that thing. The awareness meters over enemies has like if you're unaware, suspicious, investigating, or alerted. Okay. Is this, can I, no? Okay. Boom, ba -dum, boom, ba -dum, boom. Do I just jump down here? Don't think you have a choice. I guess so. Are you a bad guy? Does not look like it. Uh oh, some shit's going down. Easy now. You've been frozen for a while. There's bound to be unforeseen side effects. Hey, little cutie. Yeah, unlike in Fallout, if there's anything alive, you can kill it. Um. I don't 
Can I just drop? You'll be fine, man. It's just right drop. there. Oh, good. Use the emergency medicinal inhaler to heal. Each activation could use one adrenal. That's man, a that was a pack. waste. He had plenty of health. It told me to do it. I know, but I'm just saying. Just remember how the vegetation disappears when you crouch. It makes looting bodies a lot. Oh, that's a good idea. That's smart. Who's this idiot? I think that's the guy you're supposed to meet. Hey, you. Come here. No, I'm good. See you later. Dang it. Fine. What do you want? You've tried the best now. <laughs> now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, wow, that stings. You gotta use our medical, bro. What? Why wouldn't we use that? We I don't know this dude. Yeah, but you you just get free XP probably. Huh. Looks like the bleeding stopped. Oh, I owe you one. See now he owes you Hope one. Hope you don't mind me omitting this little exchange for my report. Spacer's choice doesn't like us accepting outside help. Spacer's what? Oh, we're all part of the Spacer's Choice family here. Oh not that I deserve to be. Can't even deliver a company slogan. <laughs> what a we were dummy. out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take him. Then my gun misfired. Right through my sight. I mean, what are the odds of that? What right? are the odds of that? Just barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. This is so fallout dude. <laughs> what are you feeling, man? Give me some... I want to know about the marauders. Gibbering, flesh-eating, law-breaking, unemployed lunatics... With guns. Some hull had grounded their spacecraft out in the open. That's a real good way to attract marauders. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? Oh man, we got persuade? I've got a better idea. Give me your gun and I'll go get help. Lie once, someone So one is the difficulty, right? I would assume. That's what so. I'm thinking. Uh someone grounded their ship illegally, I'll hunt him down for you. You're an idiot. Give me your gun before you get yourself killed. Oh, these are great. What does this do? I, I don't, don't know. Oh, I don't know what this does, but I don't want to like... Oh, it's history. That's awesome. Oh, that's great. So you can actually see what they said. Oh, that's yeah. really convenient. That's a nice addition. I would go with Persuade 1. Yeah? Yeah, okay. You look like you know your way around a gun. Got some spare ammo. Not What's the auto save? My side. F5? Here, you can have my saber too, for patching me up and all. All Spacer's Choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's Choice. Do we play a bad guy or do we play a good guy? I always play a good guy. I usually play neutral. Uh, can you tell me where I am? Do you know anything about the hope? Yeah, let's go with that. The hope? Is that some sort of fancy new drug? Are you with anti-Cleo or something? Don't take this the wrong way or nothing, but I'm not allowed to fraternize with Cleo workers. Company policy. I've seen the first few hours of gameplay like a dozen times now. You're the only one of the few that's actually You're healing. an Emerald Vale. An experience, We're a bro. Spacer's Choice community. Edgewater's a little ways down. That's interesting. Down. Why don't, why don't uh, other people heal them? Place in the vale. Be sure to stop by a provisioner's for a can of our famous Saltuna. Michael loves Saltuna. Blast him. I was going. I was literally going to. That would be a bad. Oh, you did. You can do anything in the game. Like they, you. There's no NPCs that are too vital that you can't kill. Like they really? Say. Yeah. Oh. Well, I guess we get his armor now. Oh, are you gonna reload? Yeah, I didn't want to kill him. I just wanted to like. I like to how see you do the buttons without even checking if they're the right buttons because it's so Fallout. Well, yeah. But I hit F5 and I saw it saved down there, so I was like, all right, we're good. And then F9 is always load if, if F5 is saved, so. I just take your stuff. See, look, but he doesn't get out of the damn way. You could totally pick that up when it's highlighted. You don't have to be like right no, I next couldn't. to it. Really? Yeah. That's weird. I Even tried. It's highlighted means you're good. That's usually what I would expect as well. I'll see if I can find anything else. Like, see, like, huh. you gotta get close, and then you're like, I think it just shows you as an item, which is fine. We haven't even learned how to pull up our inventory yet. Damn it, my ears! Uh, Take his greasy mattress. 
Oh man, so we got what? T and L weapons safety training. You can have four weapons equipped at any time by dragging them up to the slots at the top of the screen. You can also inspect your weapons, compare them, flag them as junk, or break them down for parts players. With the engineering skill, can repair weapons on the screen as well. Your T and L weapons. Oh look, I forgot I look like this. I was like, oh shit, I'm looking, I'm looking like I'm uh, straight out of the the Wild West over here. Oh, it's just like there's a light, heavy, and energy ammo. That's so simple. Oh, quick the saber too. That way you can stab a fool. <clears throat> All right. Can we change our look? No, no way. You can change your look. I don't want to. I was just curious. Okay, so this is quests, and then we have codex here as well. Um, I guess this just gives us information about stuff. Like a codex. What just happened? Can you hear me? What in the hell? This... Hack his leg off. See if that works. Yeah. Hack his leg off. Wow. All right. So, okay. Just checking. I just wanted to see what, uh, I, I really just want to see what the animation for that looked like. Like if it was going to, where, this way? Yeah. Reload. Nine total. Okay. You also have 101 bullets, so I think you're good. It was lighting. Yeah. I mean, that's actually a good amount of ammo, so I'm not, I'm not too concerned. Oh man, this hibernation complications to tactical time dilation. Oh, this is what we saw earlier. Due to complications stemming from being revived after an extended hibernation, your brain processes time differently. Like fucking Neo, dude. Pressing the tactical time dilation button slows down the world, giving you time to think as well. Oh, so it's like the TTD is apparently like VATS in uh, in this. Q is tactical time dilation. Okay. Exactly like VATS. Q is VATS. Uh, <laughs> you have a limited time in this mode. Standing still drains your TTD meter very slowly while moving and attacks drain it faster. TTD. Yeah, this is just VATS. I'm sure they're going to give me someone to shoot. Some object objects explode and hit. Shoot them while enemies are nearby for an explosive surprise. Yep. All right. So typical first person shooter info. Oh, that's a marauder? There you now go. Now it's a dead marauder. Oh. I think you killed him, man. I think that one shot was good. It didn't feel good enough. I don't like that I just can't run over stuff to pick it up, but I understand it. Double click the jump button to dodge left, right, or backwards. Okay. Can I not search this guy? Maybe he just doesn't have anything. We got some some zero G brew. Uh, mag pick. I don't. Okay. Oh, some tarmac and cheese. Delicious. That's actually a hilarious name, tarmac and cheese. Uh, you have found a new weapon. The weapon switch button allows you to rotate between weapons you have equipped on the inventory screen. That's not a new weapon. Sentry saber. That's the same weapon. Should I just pick up everything? What's your strategy for games like this? Uh, so this is just hacking and picking locks. Sure. I'm standing in fire, bro. Oh, you were. What did I just do? I think you have to unlock it. How can I do it? I don't think we have enough gizmos. Gizmos? Yeah, see, it says three out of five there. Gizmos? Yeah, we don't have enough gizmos. Hey, man, you don't always have to sneak. What are you talking about? You're, like, constantly sneaking. I ain't sneaking. Here you are. Oh. Told you. I, your mind. crosshair changes when you're sneaking. Oh, there we go. You gotta hold it down. Oh, so you don't have to play a minigame, it just... Telescoping staff. It's just a weapon? <laughs> it's a melee weapon. Michael Bees. It'll burn your throat. Bro. Use your slowdown juice. You're gonna die, boy. Dead. Wow. 
All right, getting the hang of things. Got to use those healy deeds. Oh, being able to scrap it from your inventory is, is a great feature. <clears throat> Are you still crouching? I was. I was still crouching. Oh. Just remember that fool. That guy got his head knocked clear off. That's uh -huh. a sprat. Poor little buddy. I think he was probably just too close. Is this anything? Yeah, she did. That'll help. I don't know if it'll help, Michael. I just started playing. Me break box. Me did break box. Me likey breadstick. Me likey breadstick. You should probably equip that. The telescoping staff? Yeah, it's better than your sword, I think. This is right? 73. This is 54. Oh, never mind. Does it shoot things? Is it like a wizard stick? Is it a wizard? I mean, might as well equip it because we. <laughs> Got longer range, probably. Most melee weapons can perform three swing combos. <laughs> and you can block. Does it have longer range? Is that a thing? Are you just making that shit up? I'm just assuming. I don't think so, man. I bet they're the same. Sunny D. Let's talk about your throat. Sunny D, let's talk about your throat. Alright, let's try this a little bit more uh, stealthily, as it were. Okay, I see one dude here and my radar is is there like a sneaky like stealth kill that I can that I can implement here well I guess we'll find out Ooh. or I can just shoot him in the brain and hope that it kills him. No! Stop! I don't know what happened did we freeze I think the game just froze did my whole PC freeze Can you guys hear me still? Somebody say something in the chat. Okay. Oh, it's back. I think the game might have frozen though. That's weird. Huh. Okay, so let's... Oh no. Is there? Okay. I think I'm still alive. Yeah, everyone's saying you're still alive. Okay, hold on. Come on, Outer Worlds. What's the deal? Not responding. Okay. That was weird. Get it together, triple-A title. Is it triple-A? What? F yeah, for sure, right? Which is the most recent? 21, 21, 17, 22, 24, 25. Okay. Mike, run down to the Wawa and grab a stick of RAM. <laughs> <laughs> I got 32 gigabits in this bad boy. Alright, so. Alright, that's not too bad. We just have to run up to him again. Oh, jeez. Wait, turn around? Yeah, this guy's still alive. Yeah. Oh, damn it! Man, I'm tired of doing I'm saving this right after this part. First time I died, the next time the game dies. Alright, I know. Oh, I gotta get my other mags. I wouldn't even open it. Why? It's not worth it. My co weapon sucks. What sucks? The weapon you get sucks. You really liked it. You want me to equip it. I just said to equip it. I didn't think it was good. Don't unlock it? Oh, you do get experience, though. So, whatever. Does it use all your mags when you open that, or do you just have to have the mags? Yeah, I think so. Oh, that's stupid. Alright, I'll just save it right here. 
Sonny D D D D D D. Sonny D's nuts. Wow, that's in that's inappropriate. You're not allowed in this room anymore. Don't get caught, man. What's this guy gonna do? Stay away! Mm. What really? These guys seem like they're really scared. I don't think they give up once they're low health. You had nothing for me? Unbelievable. Alright, we did it. I hope this isn't a game where I feel where I have to feel like I have to like save after every couple guys like I kill. So if that you I'm... suck, you do. No, I mean because like I don't want it to keep crashing and then I'm gonna be like, oh it it only saved 45 minutes ago. You know what I mean? It's probably auto saves at some point. Destroy the child. TMO, what's going on, my dude? What'd you say to me? There's probably auto saves every once in a while, I imagine. Who are these guys? Are these vandals? No, these are like friends. Hey, get over here before you get yourself killed. Are you talking to me? Don't know where you came from, stranger, but you best keep your head down. There's marauders hereabouts, and worse, landing violators. Gall on that rung leech. Landing in the veil without using an official Spacer's Choice landing pad. I'd slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about. <coughs> it's just a landing violation. Let it go. So I heard. I found one of your teammates holed up in a cave. I've already dealt with a few of these marauders. Not impressed. I feel like number two is kind of tattletailing. I heard your little bitch teammate was back there hiding out. You out of your mind? No way. Once we've dealt with these marauders, I'm hunting that sick freak down. Wow. I just, you know, need a couple of winks to catch my breath. Stretch my legs some. Ooh. All right, we got Persuade. Do Spacer's Choice Guards back down from a challenge? I bet you can get these marauders to tell you where the owner of that ship is. Guess I'll have to give you a zero on my customer satisfaction survey. Don't worry, you sit tight, I'll handle it, or coward, I'll do it myself. Hmm. You might as well go for one of them. I'm definitely going for one of them, I just don't know which one. Didn't we put points in Persuade? Yeah. So, probably. I like Intimidate too, though. No, it's up to you. Seriously? But those marauders will... Ugh. <laughs> you know what? You're right. It's time we cross those marauders off, find whoever owns that ship, and file a full report. Then it's gonna be fucking laminated. Oh, snap! Here we go. I guess they're your friends now. I wish that if I switch weapons and I switch back to the gun, it's it's auto loaded. But I guess it's fine. Is that a skin tube? <laughs> Did you see that? No. I'm sure you'll see it. Skin tough salve. Okay. He's got a little salve on him. Look, you guys were complaining about nothing, dude. I can kill both these people. That's so insane, dude. Yeah, it's just randos. This is gonna take a lot of paperwork. Are they? Pretty sure. It's a loading now. Oh. Salves are greater than bombs. Change Please my mind. Please be informed that this vessel contains no valuable plunder. <laughs> That's pretty funny. This is a button? Smile for my surveillance device, Marauder. I am tracking your every move. I ain't no Marauder. You don't even know me. Alright, so we're gonna go this way. This is where I get my Unauthorized ID. Unauthorized access of spacefaring vessels is a crime. Please submit yourself to the authorities. Is this Mr. House? Hello, Marauder. I am Ada, the autonomous digital astrogator of this vessel. Please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. 
Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. Uh, what are you gonna do? Self destruct? <laughs> I'm not here to misappropriate anything. I don't appreciate being talked to that way. Two. You wanna do two? I detect an elevated heart rate, indicating dishonesty. Oh shit. Please prepare yourself for lethal deterrence. Jettison procedures initiated. Disengage in airlocks. Prepare to reject all boarding parties in five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> oh man, you realize we're on the ground, right? Oh man, these are great, dude. If you are still here, my deception protocols have failed. I have been programmed to express disappointment. Wow. This vessel is the registered property of Captain Alex Hawthorne. I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. Hawthorne was supposed to meet me when I landed. Hawthorne's dead. I'm sorry, your captain's a red smear under my escape pod. Oh, oh, Hawthorne was the one that died under the... Oh, jeez. I understand. I will require some time to process this information. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? Uh, I get it. You need me to be Captain Hawthorne or you can't fly. Okay, but I'm not Hawthorne. Hawthorne is dead. <laughs> oh man, these, these fucking dialogue prompts are glorious. Which one? What are you thinking? One. Well done, Captain Hawthorne. I see your powers of deductive reasoning remain intact. Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. Our main drive suffered a critical power failure, and we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged and must be replaced. Uh, where am I supposed to find something like that? I doubt I'll find a part like that just sitting in the garage. I don't think my engineering skill is high enough because it's Go for enough. it. I'm going to F5 here. Really? Just go for it. It's What's going to worst going to happen? They're going to be Astutely like, no. Astutely observed. However, See? Got the it. probability of locating a power hmm. regulator within a intelligence is high. That probably falls within acceptable that. parameters Might be right. of certainty. High capacity power regulators are sometimes employed in the electrical networks of worker settlements. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new captain's identity cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. Oh, again, captain's this identification. This cartridge identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and captain of the Unreliable. Do you understand? I got it. Eric. Thanks, Captain Hawthorne of the Unreliable. I like it. Knock it off with this Captain Hawthorne nonsense. Thank you. I appreciate your cooperation. Best of luck Trade Mike for the power regulator. Power wow. Regulator. <laughs> Try to stay alive this time. That's a solid deal, actually. Oh, shit. Tab. Give me them perks. Anti Cleo's management training. Skill improvements. Every time you level up, you earn skill points to spend on improving your skills. Spending a skill point on a core skill, melee, improves all of your specialized skills in that group up to maximum 50. After 50, you can add points directly to specialized skills up to 100. Every skill improves as it grows, but special unlock bonuses occur every 20 points. Read each skill description to see what they are. Armor consumables and status effects can temporarily raise or lower your skills. This helps or hurts skill checks and the skill's passive bonuses, but won't give or take away from the skill unlock. Work diligently, improve yourself, and you too can achieve middle management. Yikes. Uh, okay. Points available 10? Oh, baby. Oh, man. I, uh, how, uh, how, how, oh, so we can... Oh, so one point increases them all by one point? So if I was like... Yeah, but you have to have over 50 to do the other stuff. What do you think? Medical? Um, is the one that helps with life? Life? Yeah, like more life. <laughs> Probably medical, right? No, I think that just ups your. Yeah, well, you can read it. Read what medical says. It increases the heal amount provided by items. No. Yeah, no, it doesn't. It doesn't help your base health. That's companion health. 
Why'd you put one in stealth? Can I can I take it out? Yeah, X revert. Okay. Uh, I put one in stealth because I liked lock picking and hacking. I think ah. those are useful. Yeah, these are just skills. These aren't like your your stats, my dude. Bro, what are we doing here? Yeah, two and still, sure. Whatever. Okay, done. Uh, yeah, that's fine. You have unlocked location hit effects for tactical time dilation. Hitting enemies in different locations during TTD maims or cripples those body parts. Try different locations to different effects. Hits the chest produce different effects when using different weapons. Nice. You have unlocked a dialogue combat skill. When attacking the correct type of target, they are automatically de debil debilitated. Interesting. Oh, how did we... Okay, so we... Oh, handguns. Unlock... Okay, so cool. Handgun critical damage plus 50. That seems good. Interesting. How you doing, man? You doing okay? Yeah. Are you scratching your little legums? Yeah. Okay. Here comes the puppy dog. Wonder, what are you doing? I like that this this thing is always on the screen. It's always showing me where to go. You gotta hold, you gotta hold E to open the doors. Look at these nerds. Say. This wouldn't happen to be your ship, would it? <laughs> because you sure walked in it like it was your ship. And if this ship is yours, well, mister, you owe Spacer's Choice a hefty fine. Afraid we gotta dock your pay. You got it all wrong. I'm a Starship Safety Inspector. I don't have a job. Do you take down payments in wanton, in wanton violence? <laughs> what do you think, man? Uh, I'd go for a lie here. I would, too. Oh, by the law. I'm so sorry. I had no idea we had an inspector ah. coming. If you'd like to speak with my manager, I report to Constable Reyes in Edgewater. Edgewater's not too far. Just follow the road east of here, over past the cemetery. Oh, now, we've got a location, me. too? I need to inspect the crime scene before I make my report. Okay, I'm liking this game a lot so far. I think the dialogues are really fantastic. Look at that volcano. Where are we going now? Volcano. Probably do the green thing. I know, Michael. Look at me, Rimp. Is this... What is... I'm trying to look on the screen to see, like, what this is taking away from. Because I, I refuse to believe we can just sprint indefinitely, right? Maybe you can, which is actually super... Wow, that looks fucking great. Maybe you can, which is nice. I guess we'll find out. Because I think when you're, like, really stingy with your sprinting, it gets on my nerves because it just feels too real. We'll just sprint and see if it, it's uh -oh. not an enemy. Uh -oh. Yeah, it, oh, is. it is. That's a that's a some marauder. We've been killing these dudes. Give him the old stabby stabby. Magic marker studios. What's going on, my dude? Um, give him the stabby stabby. Yeah, give him the old stabby stabby. This has a real Metal Gear Solid kind of like uh, alert system. Eh, kind of. Well, like it goes up if they see you. There's got to be like a one hit, like. You got anything? Nothing, you're just a dead resident? Okay. What about, where'd, where'd the other dude go? There you are. Nothing? Okay. Oh, we got some perk points available. I can see it. Okay. Wasn't there a third guy somewhere? Tab. Perk points are available. When Welcome to the perk selection. On this screen, you can choose what perks to buy with your perk points. You get a new perk. It's been every two levels. Very fallouty. You can also acquire perk points through gameplay. Such as accepting a flaw, acquiring five new perks makes the next tier of perks available to you. Oh wow. Toughness, plus 50% 50, 50 base health. That seems good. Jeez. Uh, tactical time dilation meter maximum is 25%. 25% damage when alone in the party, which is nice. Lone Wolf Strider, 25% walk speed. 20% sprint speed. 20% weapon armor durability loss. 
15% companion critical hit. Don't care about that. That's the first one. I'm like, I don't care about that. Minus 20% vendor prices. I like stuff like this. You don't. I don't because you're always going to accrue infinite money in the game. 50% XP from companion kills. Um, unlock the ability to fast travel when encumbered. That actually seems great. But again, that's probably something I like and you don't. It's just a, it's just a thing where at poor management again. Right. Again. <laughs> Tactical time dilation recharge rate. That's good. 50 kilogram carrying capacity. Yeah, I'd much rather, if we're going to go for carrying capacity, I'd much rather just take just more. Just get straight up. Yeah. Than actually, than fast just travel. Yeah, it's stupid. 100% additional ammo stock on vendors. 100% consumable in general stock on vendors. That's interesting. And then a 5 base armor rating. What do you think? Uh, I like health or... I kind of also like more slowdowny speeds, but either one's fine. Fifty percent base health. Yeah, that seems is, good. Seems good. All right. Oh, we get two. No, we get one. Oh. Because it says perks available zero. Okay. You get one point every two levels. Fifty percent health boost seems like a lot. That's what I'm thinking. I'm like, wow, that seems like a good amount, man. All right. What's the next? What's the next one? Oh, I guess I guess you pick five of these, then you go to the next level. What's the? Is there a healy button? F. F oh, is the healy button. I think you're good for now. I feel like this this game is super familiar because like a lot of the controls are the same, a lot of the systems are similar. I like these. I like this. These backgrounds here. All right, we're going this way. Oh shit, we found Edgewater. The one thing that's very not fall about it is it's very colorful. It is real colorful, yeah, but it's nice. I mean, it's got a good look to it. Wasn't there a perk that gave HP regen? Yeah, there was. Um, I thought there was. Uh, maybe not. No, I guess not. Nope. What was the last one? Plus five base armor. Okay. Also, we never figured out if Sprint was infinite or not. It seems like it. There's no meter that's going down when I sprint. Whoa, hey, where'd you come from? Oh, and apparently one of the things I was reading is that there's a lot of dumb characters. And not like poorly written characters, but characters that in the game are actually like not very smart. Right. I just want to talk to you. Don't go ambling out in those hills. That's marauder territory, friend. Marauders are just like raiders. You're like, eh, who cares? Yeah. How do, you know I'm not a, how do you know I'm not, how do you know I'm not a marauder? You pod? What are you on about? You take a bruise to the cranium? <laughs> Ain't safe out here. You'd best head into town. Avail yourself of Edgewater's high walls and low, low prices. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently the game is like really built around a lot of corporations in the future. I never got your name. I'm Bort. <laughs> I forgot our name was fucking oh, Bort. Nice to meet you. I'm Alex Hawthorne, Captain of the... That's not a lie. That's true. Pleased to make your acquaintanceship. I'd shake your hand, but I've been hauling corpses. <laughs> you don't want none of that on you. Name's Silas. Junior in humor for the town of Edgewater. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family. Oh my god, that's so corporate -y. It's so funny, dude. Who I talked about a power regular. I'm looking to make a little money while I'm here. This place looks like it's falling to pieces. Fancy title for a grave digger. I'll be on my way. Yeah, just leave. I don't care about any of this. What? We want to know who we talked about power. This is so much oh, information. The power regulator one's good. I, I missed that part. You fuck. You son of a biscuit. Definitely not the junior in humor. That's for sure. If you've got business inquiries, you should stop by Reed Thompson's office. He's up in the tower above the cannery. Head into town. Follow the road. Look, you obviously ain't a worker. W what's your racket? You a smuggler? Freelancer? Depends on what you do. What depends on the work. You offer me a job, I do what I want. You're asking the wrong person. I'm not interested. Let's let's see what they got. Edgewater is a company town, board owned and operated. That includes the cemetery. None of us own our grave sites. We rent them from the company. Jesus. Renting means money. Money means paperwork. Paperwork means signatures. Some of our families become a might delinquent in paying their dues. You see. You want me to collect what's owed to you? I can do that. You're making people pay for their own graves? Why can't you collect these fees yourself? Let me ask you about something else. I'm sure you'll figure something out. So let's help them collect. Four workers still haven't paid up. Phyllis, Conrad, Ludwig, 
and Martin Abernathy. Oh, Ludwig. Hmm. He's a special case. You may want to twist his arm a little. He just is. Look, I don't want to get into it. Just make sure he pays up. There's something else I wanted to ask you. Yeah? This time I've seen pretty bad shape if it's keeping you employed. <laughs> 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 you lose a lot of people to Marauders. Have you heard any news about the Hope? How long have you been a junior in humane in humor? Gravedigger, whatever. Hang on, I'm doing some math in my head. Uh, 20, 30, carry the one. Uh, all my life? Work's been real good to me. Fresh air, exercise. Only problem is the paperwork. Can't get anybody to pay their gravesite fees. Uh, I think that's good. You could look at it that way, I suppose. You could look at us and say, those Edgewater saps lost near every soul to plague. But you'd be wrong. We're survivors. Loyal company folk, brave in the wilds. Okay. Every now and again, a virulent plague sweeps through our town. That's life on the frontier, I suppose. A body grows accustomed. Okay. Speed's working at the cannery. How can I get a cool helmet? I want that NPC Ranger armor. That's all I want. In every uh, game. wrong game. Damn it. Look at this weirdo. Oh, and then he's got the moon right back there. This game looks... Oh, it's like it's got dark while we were talking to him. That's great. This is great. I just feel like I'm playing Fallout Space. If you're falling sick, I don't want you near me. Don't worry. I wouldn't do that to you. <laughs> wow, that's so nice. That guy's real considerate. Thank you! Oh, so salty! What up to the super German-friendly stream time? Thanks, man. Really appreciate it, buddy. Hope you're enjoying lots of burritos. <laughs> this is it? Just gotta keep our heads up. You read the latest oh. report? I'm just a bar, man. What? Just a bar. You're just a bar. A bar of shit. You can probably sell them stuff. Oh! Hey, I no, saw that. You stole. What do you think you're doing? I'm sorry, that was an accident. Nothing at all. I was just leaving. Carry on. Woo! Oh. If enemies are hostile but your reputation isn't kill on sight, leaving for a few days will calm things down. Okay, that's good to know. Okay. Uh, this is a game called The Outer Worlds. It's about two days old. Just like Michael B. How long have we been streaming? I don't know, an hour and a half? Uh, an hour and three minutes. Okay, I was pretty off. Alright, you ready? Are oh, you just going straight to the quest? Yeah, what should I do? I was gonna see if you could, like, you know, wheel and deal somebody. What does that mean? Sell stuff and try to buy stuff. I'll try to buy you. The grease monkey, Argo. Oh, here's Reed. I'm sorry. Thompson. Thompson, sir. You asked why it's taking so long to fix. The answer's technical. Don't apologize. Just try using small words for me. The cans bust open in the oven because she's set to cook saltuna, which isn't what we've got. Mr. Thompson, I think there's someone here to see you. Focus, Miss Holcomb. You and I are still talking. Seems we've got a guest. Really now, Parvati, I do wish you'd spoken up. I do apologize. I was given no forewarning of your arrival, or I might have welcomed you at the gates myself. Hmm. I'm Reed Thompson, outpost administrator. I cannot help but notice you are not in uniform. Uniform? I think you may have the wrong idea about me, buddy. Sure. Yes, so it dawns on me. 
Seems I allowed my excitement to run away with my wits. Been a few seasons since we've had a visitor pass through. I'm looking for a power regulator. Only regulator we got is hooked up to the town transformer. Mr. Tobson ain't liable to be keen on dismantling it. Then I'll just take it. I beg it. your pardon. I am most emphatically not keen on any such thing. I can't let you have our power regulator. But I happen to know of another one. And I happen to know exactly how you may retrieve it without frying yourself in the process. Hmm. I'm gonna guess you're gonna do something for you before you'll help me. My proposition benefits the both of us. Please, hear me out. Okay. There's a power regulator in the old botanical lab. It's mostly abandoned, so all that power is being squandered. Go down to the geothermal plant. Reroute power from the botanical district over to us. Once their power is shut down, you can have their regulator and be along on your way. When you say mostly abandoned, what do you mean? <laughs> I was not entirely sure how to tell you this. The botanical labs are not legally inhabited, but there are people who live there. Wow. Uh, you mean marauders? Marauders aren't people. What do you think? I think this one? Sure. I don't think these people will take kindly losing no, their power. No, I do not imagine they will be pleased. But like a parent disciplining an unruly child, you will be doing them a kindness. The people living in the botanical labs, they're deserters, former workers. I need them back at their posts. I need them to come home. Hedgewater is struggling. We haven't hit our production quota in years. If we don't meet our quotas this year, the company might shut us down for good. I need those workers back at their stations. What do you think? I just go with one. I don't, I don't really. Really? You don't get involved? Well, I don't want to yeah, get involved. Yeah, okay. I've seen Edge Rod. I don't blame those workers for walking Neither out. Neither do I. The fault was entirely mine. Yeah, that's I right. I pushed them too hard. My hope is that by cutting off their power, you will convince those deserters to come back to town. Before you go to the plant, I want you to stop by the botanical lab. Speak to their leader, Adelaide. Tell her the power's about to go. And that it's time her band of deserters came back okay. to town. Okay, okay. That seems reasonable. My dad told me all about the plant. Taught me all he knew. I could come in useful. I mean, if that's all right with you, Mr. Thompson. Sir. I hesitate to part ways with Miss Holcomb, but I cannot deny that she is talented and may prove useful to you. What you will need means. an administrative passcode in order to enter the plant. I am trusting you with mine and trusting Miss Holcomb to guide you if you'd like. Okay. Sure. Great. I don't turn down companions again. I got my wrenches and diagnosticators and hairpins and engine tape, so I'm all set. Well, I am glad to hear that. Best of luck to you, and thank you again for your help. It is a lot to ask of a stranger, I know. Companions! Really? <laughs> Can you kill this guy? Yeah, you can kill anybody, I think. Really? No one is that essential. Here we go! Are you out of your mind? You just you just killed him. I know it was great. <laughs> oh man. These dialogue options are fantastic. And now we gotta reload, though. A favor? You just made me an accomplice to murdering my boss. I can't. I need to leave. I need to get away from here. I need to get away from you. We're just treating you like garbage. I was trying to protect you. Give me a break from already. We're just settling our differences. Then this is goodbye. Take care. You killed Mr. Thompson for talking down his nose at me? You got a real twisted sense of chivalry, you know that? Let's just, let's just move on. I 
can forgive myself if I let you loose upon the veil unsupervised. Wow, this is great. I mean, I'm definitely not killing him. But it's cool because I would have never seen that, that dialogue tree if I didn't. Yeah, yeah, that's true. You know what I mean? Like, it's so funny. Like, the, the amount of dialogue they write for these games that you likely won't see during any given game is insane. She looks like I still killed him. She's like, I know what you did. She's like, I was here when you auto-saved, you little bitch. Hey, mister, can we talk? Sorry. Can we talk? Yes. Sorry. I... You just want to get out of here. And you likely don't want to tag along like me. It's just... Mr. Thompson has his own view on matters. On account of it's his job and, and what all, but... That's not the only side of the tale. Uh, this is about the deserters, so what's the other side of it? Figures, Reed didn't exactly strike me as the most honest soul. What he said seemed pretty straightforward to me. If I wanted to deal with nuance, I wouldn't be this heavily armed. Let's move. You got one gun. Let's, come on, let's take it easy. Which one? I like two. Oh, he ain't a liar. He believes every word he says. It's just, he doesn't always get where other folk are talking from. To Mr. Thompson, a person's a gear. It does its job quiet-like. If it squeaks or stutters, it gets replaced. The deserters are decent folk. I knew some of them before they left. I can't blame anyone for wanting to leave. This town's got issues. How well did you know the deserters? You worked with them? You were friends or what? Did you know this Adelaide Reed mentioned? I'm sure the deserters are very fine people, so what? Yikes. Miss McDevitt? Gosh, no. She was a real important person. A flavorist. Made all the food taste decent. She used to work up in the big office with Mr. Thompson. All I know is she left after her son died. It was a real big to-do. I could hear them both yelling clear from my own place. A real big to-do. Uh, I can't believe I want to leave. Okay, so the same questions. Why were Reed and Adelaide arguing? Can't say as I know. I wasn't there. The sound carried, but not the words. If Mr. Thompson ain't of a mind to tell you his own self, you'd best ask Miss McDevitt if you can get out to her. I can't blame anyone. Hold on. Life's hard here. Especially for them that don't fit in so well. We're one big Spacer's Choice family, but every family's got the one the rest whisper about. <laughs> Mr. Thompson's aiming to take away their power. They'll have no lights to see, nor heat to cook. They'll be at the mercy of marauders or worse i think you should talk to the town's vicar about it max his name is nice nice I suppose it couldn't hurt we'll stop by what do you need to talk to the vicar about flipping a switch in your power mill <laughs> oh god the mission's on the east side of town you can't miss it on account of it being the only clean thing thanks mister i just think when you got to make a decision that'll hurt somebody it's best to think on the right and wrong of it. That's what my dad used to say anyways. Parvati is my favorite kind my of dad. cheese. My dad. What does your dad used to say? This is literally this is fucking... This is just Fallout, dude. What'd you say? I think you're not supposed to do this. It was red. Oh, no, maybe not. this was green. Or this was this was white, rather. Um. I was gonna hack it then, I guess. Spacer's Choice reminds me of Nuka Cola. There was nothing to hack though. This is just one of the boring terminals with just logs on it. Oh, okay. And then return to root. No, that's it. Uh, see, that's red. Ooh. Adam Bob Michael and me. Michael B. lives up in a tree. Michael B. lives up in a tree. All right, so I'm just, I gotta get out of here. Oh, vending machine discovered. I got 50 experience from discovering a vending machine. I can sell items to a vending machine? Get out of here. Do I have, can I do that? Oh, that's buy, you gotta go to sell. Oh. Oh. Sell that stupid stick. E is sell, okay. Do I, I need to sell that? What? Oh, never mind, you're good. That was the other sword we had. Okay. You can sell a stick too, I think. 
Do we want to sell one of the guns? Probably. Damage two. Right? Uh, do I care about this food? Like, I really never care about food. Uh, body attributes plus one last 30 seconds. Base health plus 25 for two minutes. None of these stuff, none of this stuff actually does anything for me. Don't sell the ammo. I'm not. I'm not, okay? I'm gonna make no. Probably sell the booze and the fruits. The booze and the fruits. Can you get drunk in this game? Oh yeah, look at this. Dexterity negative one, perception negative one, charm negative one. Made in space. <laughs> oh, tarmac and cheese. Like if this shit just naturally healed me, I'd be all over it, but. You probably sell the sliced bread. Yeah, it's plus 200 natural health regeneration. Like, I just don't care about health regeneration. All right. Cool. What, are, what is this Z and X? Coming back. Oh, okay, it calls her to us, I guess, and X is... I don't know. Okay. Coming. Oh, now there's multiple markers. Which one are we going to? Well, we have two quests, right? She said this was on the east side. So this is probably where we want to go to the vicar. Right? She said east. You're like, I don't know. Uh, you pay, how, you're so fucking good at these games. But then, like... I just always select one at a time because it gets confusing. Well, yeah, I did too, but... I think these are both... Oh, it's like part of the same quest. Yeah, it's like an optional second. Oh, sure, 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 sure. Well, the one closest to us probably is the optional one. Uh... Bruh. Brew. Oh, yeah, the, yeah, that's where we want to go. Oops. Sorry, I'll just be a minute. I guess we want to go in here. I've always felt weird in here. It's too clean. Oh, what up, my dude? Yes, what is it? You're an outsider. Fantastic. Vicar Maximilian de Soto at your service. Or Vicar Max, if you're the sort who prefers brevity. And Ms. Holcomb as well. How rare to see you out. And with a complete stranger. Curious. Just tagging along, Vicar De Soto. Don't mind me. I so rarely get new people to talk to. Is it okay? Name your mm -hmm. poison, anything at all. Spiritual counseling, this season's toss ball predictions, the quickest way out of town. Ha <laughs> you. Oh, you, you jokester, you. Have already wanted to talk to you about what Reed asked us to do. How did I know? How did you know I'm an outsider? What sort of spiritual advice do you have to offer? Just thought of something else I need to be doing. Okay. What? I thought you would talk to him. You wanted to speak to me, Ms. Holcomb? Every time I've tried to engage you in conversation, you look at the floor, answer in single words, and slink away. I can't imagine what would be so grave as to drive her to my mission. What has Mr. Thompson asked you to do? Your mom! Boop, 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 got him! Damn, boy! Uh, cut off the power to Adelaide's deserters. Cut power to the deserters so you can answer quickly. We're in a hurry. Wow, it's just the same answer. He's like, just let's go. Depriving them of safety from the marauders and wildlife. I can see why that troubles you. Miss Holcomb has a soft heart. Always has, if you believe the talk. Look at this chat. Your companion's name makes me think she's going to bust out in a glorious opera baritone at any moment. And then Dr. Doomblade's like, uh, Pavarotti was a high tenor. <laughs> Dummy. Uh, what do you think of Adelaide's, Adelaide's group? So what do you advise? Assuming your goal is to save as many as possible, then you should bring everyone together. Send the power to Edgewater and convince the deserters to return to the fold. 
Hmm. Let's go with one. Not if things are left to stand as they are. If you don't mind a bit of unsolicited advice, be cautious on your way to the geothermal plant. It is not as safe as you might assume. Uh, I've been outside. I'm not impressed. <laughs> One of the reasons I transferred here was to fulfill my duty in hunting down banned heretical texts. I happen to if know, you know such I mean. a book is, as we speak, tainting like a, a collector's mag? library in Emerald Vale. However, the collector's residence lies outside the town's walls. My retrieval efforts have been thwarted by marauders who have overrun the property. Should you fare better than me, I'd pay a handsome sum for the book. Oh, this guy's... No, now he's got a mission for us. A handsome sum, you say? Tell me more. Why would a, a vicar be after a banned heretical book? I assume you want to burn it once you get your hands on it. I think it's one or two. What do you think? I like two. Why would a vicar be after a banned heretical book? I just want to keep the writing out of layman's hands. It wouldn't do for such information to fall into public consumption. I don't like banning books, yo. Seems to me the authorities would be interested to hear you're after this contraband text. You can come on even know a little bit more about this book before I agree to this. I go with I need more info. It's a handwritten journal, a faded blue cover with the name M. Bakonu handwritten in the lower corner. I'll mark where I saw it on your map. Assuming you're serious? It is not only a beautiful relic of a bygone time. It's also the thoughts of an early thinker on the nature of man's place in the cosmos. Not many in this colony could understand its true value. A soft heart is Should a bad they thing. Read it. You're right, Katie. Uh, I'll look for your Thank book. Thank you. If you retrieve it, you can always find me here. Is Parvati Patil an Indian an Indian dish? Mmm, <laughs> delicious. How do I okay. All right. save after all that. Just cause it's been a while. Been a while since I first saw to my hair. It's been a while since I first saw you. Alright, so main quest companion quest. Oh, you double click. Oh, okay, because I was like clicking on it. Why isn't it doing it? You double click to get the. Alright, so which one are we doing? Deliver Reed's message. Let's do this, right? Yeah. Okay. Alright, I guess we're leaving. Hop on out. You don't want to do uh, too many side quests, or else. Didn't mean anything by it, Josh. I was just excited to actually my music. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't think it was. Uh, I didn't think it was actually meant as. I just think it's hilarious that anyone would know that. Like to be able to like just sound off and be like. Pavarotti was a high tenor. Like, what did you say? Were you talking? No, he wasn't. Also, I think you're going the wrong way. Maybe you're going the wrong fucking way. You ever think about that, you stupid Mitch? Gotta walk around. Oh God. There was like a pathway down there. A path, a path to exile. Yeah, a path to exile. Is this it? Yeah. Okay, now I'm on it. I am running. Is anyone else's screen frozen? I don't think so. It looks like it's still running. How do the companions work in this game? Can you keep someone permanently, or is it just a few? Uh, you. I think you can keep them permanently. I think they stay on your ship. On your ship. They stay on your little ship. Your cheddar cheese chip. Alright, so... Where'd the... All right. This is far, man. Can I fast travel to this thing? No, you haven't have discovered a map? it yet. Oh, look at our There's map. There's a map. Oh, Not that far. That's like a million miles away, dude. Don't be a little Mitch. Or more specifically, 360 meters. I guess. Like Firefly, yeah. Just hanging out on the ship. What's the ship in Firefly called? The Serenity? Yes. God, I'm so good. I've Close seen like the name of the movie. I've so. seen like three episodes of Firefly. I have not seen all of Firefly. Either. Wow. Firefly is like Cowboy Bebop, but live, right? Like, if you haven't seen it, you're just like an idiot. 
Yeah, it got canceled. I saw the movie and I saw like one episode, I think. Why would you watch the movie before you watch the show? Because I didn't know of the show at the time. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. I like how there's a mine and then you're like, let me get closer to the mine. You should probably hear yourself. Mine? Remember that from, uh... Here they come! Oh, shit. You really never use your slowdown juice. Slow down juice, it'll burn your throat. <laughs> Buddy. Crouching like that, just leave him alone until you deal with the other guys. Oh shit. Got him. And suck on another life stick. Did you say suck on another life stick? Yeah. Suck on a life stick. If they can see me. Everyone all right? I like those voice prompts when you're done killing everybody. Oh, can I? Do I have a, a, an equipment I can put on? Consumables. Okay. Oh, 15. That's nice. Uh, armor management. Dragon armor. Okay, cool. So. Armor three, armor. I wish they would. How come it doesn't? I wish it would tell you whether it's better or not. You know what I mean? Like this is armor three, tech skill plus five. This is armor nine, tech skill plus five. So like, I wish that like usually I like if the armor is like symbols green if it's better or red if it's worse. You know? Now I just look like a marauder. Are you okay? Well, armor nine would be better, right? That's why I put it on. What's the other one? Armor three. What's the other one? Armor four. Why does this one have a wrench on it though? Tech skills plus five. Same with this. Hmm. So this is stealth skill skill plus five. Now I just look like a marauder though. I hate looking like the bad guys in games. Then wear something else. It's just I feel like I want my own identity, and then it's, they just they wear the light armor with the sneak. No, bonus. I'd rather have better armor, Michael. Well, that makes you just a casual, okay? <laughs> Fucking noob. How did this guy die? How did any of these guys die? You gotta wear the cool armor, man. That's the rule. That's the rule for Press the Press C? What does C do? Oh. Oh, so I can click on this and then it'll compare it to other things? Oh, that's nice. I would have never known that. What's the other armor look like? I just wanna God know. fucking damn it, Michael. That looks stupid. You look stupid. What? Why? You like? Do no, you I'm like just kidding. This looks better, actually. You son of a biscuit. Video games are sixty percent about style, and forty percent about nerd shit. Oh, what is this? You don't want any trouble. Oh, what up, Grace Romero? I don't know you. Whatever you're looking for, it ain't here. Move along. You don't know that. What's your problem? I'm looking for Adelaide. I need answers. What do you think? I'd like to. Answers, huh? You must be one of those philosophicals. Already got ourselves one of those. Oh. I'm looking for the geothermal plant. Know anything about it? Reads something about a former workers living out in the wilderness. <sighs> yeah, that's us. And you can tell Thompson we're doing just fine by ourselves. If you're gonna start wandering around my camp, know that I got my sights on you. You wouldn't have anything about a geothermal plant nearby. Over in the hothouse, tending crop. Enough with the questions. No offense, but I've got a lot on my mind. Wow, excuse me. We've all got problems. I just got shot into space. 
You and me both, I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to repair my ship. Trouble with marauders? You don't know what enough with the questions means? Jesus. No, I'm sorry. That was unworthy of me. Lady named Zoe went missing some nights ago. Just up and vanished without a trace. Now I'm pacing around wondering if marauders got to her. Don't tell me you're scared of a few marauders. Man, marauders are such bitches in this game. Yeah, they're really pretty unimpressive. Everyone's just like, come on, man, they're just marauders, dude. I go looking for Zoe, I leave the camp undefended, seeing as I'm the only one of us who knows her way around the gun. Hence my dilemma. And you're right behind? Vex me. If she told anybody, they ain't telling me. I'd check her room, but I got yelled at for snooping once already. You okay with your headphones? Yeah, yeah they just like, they just get bothersome after a while, so I switch them off for a little I mean, bit. You can pull that side down a little bit. I can? Oh, appears I can. You snooped around in a room? <laughs> I'll keep an eye out. It's not like Zoe to go wandering. Figured she might be out scavenging, but that ain't exactly her talent. Can't imagine where she's gone. Vale's a wide place. She could be anywhere. Unless Marauders got through wow. her parts were could be in a uh, lot of places. I don't think I'd do that one. Appreciate it. Honest. I'll leave you be. I'm gonna shoot you in the face. <laughs> She's got a cool gun. You should probably kill her for it. Yeah, it actually took Frank about 50 hours to complete the game because he just kept shooting at people in the face and then reloading. Tax on an extra 10 hours from that. Oh, tab skills. Oh, 10 points available, boy. Because we leveled up. One there. Okay, two. Oh, yeah. What is this? Nothing yet. Okay. Now where? Tech? You like tech? Yeah. Well, you gotta pick something, man. I'd rather do stealth than tech. This is a lockpick. How many we got left? Three? Three. I put it on the dialogue. Shove the dialogue. I like that. I like maxing out my dialogue. Now we got Persuade over 50, which is probably good. I imagine. You don't know. I don't know, but I imagine. Look at this guy. Oh, think this guy's... Thomas. He used to follow me around before he left the cannery. What up, Thomas? Keep your wits about you, friend. Well, that fire makes him look red as fuck. Here we go! Trespassing, lockpicking, hacking, and murder are all considered illegal activities and are frowned upon by society. Avoid being seen if you want to engage. Okay. Hey, man. Why are you shooting at me? Alright, this is more trouble than it was worth. Are you gonna do that every time we meet someone, man? No, I didn't do that with the other lady. She had a cool gun. Oh, look, I found the main lady. If you're hungry, there's meat turning on the spit outside. If you're bearing illness, find a place to lay your head down and I'll fetch you a poultice. Whatever your what? troubles with Edgewater, <laughs> leave them at the gate. What the gates hell's a poultice? Welcome here. Any questions, dear? Jesus. I have been called that, among other things. Green Thumb, Grandmother, the strange old lady who keeps flowers. But yes, Adelaide will do just fine. Excuse me, Miss McDevitt? Sorry, it's just... You got such pretty trees in here. Wow. Why, thank you. You're Robert's girl, aren't you? I remember when you were but a sprout. Thomas I remember you when off. you were just a little baby. Are you staying long? You should try some of my tobacco tea. I brew it in an old spittoon, but it's been cleaned. To is that tobacco and corn? Reed sent me to make peace with you. Is this your greenhouse? Looks like you've made a home for yourself in here. What do you think? Let's go with the greenhouse. Is this your greenhouse? No, dear. The garden belongs to us all. Life is the gift of the universe, and the universe Listen yields this, its bounty uh, equally, absent of prejudice. I'm surprised you managed to grow anything out here. Funny, never knew you can go tripe in a garden. Wow. Wow. <laughs> oh, man, some of these dialogues are great. The soil around the veil went sour years ago. You didn't like those? But I they don't really work with the headphones too well. 
The secret recipe is a little bit of elbow grease, a dash of love, and a heaping pile of special fertilizer. Reed's having to make peace with you. Looks like he made... Yeah, let's do the read. Reed Thompson? You here on behalf of that cold-eyed reptile? Let's hear it. What's Reed's idea of peace, then? You're living off the power that belongs to the town. Come back to the cannery. That's about it. Reed asks you to consider coming back to town. He's willing to make amends. Something about coming back to the town or losing power. I wasn't really listening. I go to. Yeah, two sounds good. Make amends. Spare me. Only thing Reed knows how to make is a mess. Like everything else that comes out of Edgewater, that peace offering is canned. Nice. I and my own are living just fine out here by ourselves. Reed asked me to divert your power over him. He mentioned a geothermal plant. This is serious. I'm about to cut off your power. I'll just go with one. He would do such a thing. The question is, why would you agree to his plans? The camp has a power regulator. I need to repair my ship. Yeah, that's fine. Cannery's got a regulator. You want ship parts, you ought to rip them out of the cannery's guts and leave us be. That's a good idea. If you're going down to the plant, you should divert power away from Edgewater and toward our end of the grid. Think about it. You'd be liberating an entire town from a lifetime of service to that odious cannery. This is so Fallout, dude. Seems the sort of thing a hero would do. I'm fucking loving it. Uh, I'm not looking at myself in your problems. I just want to fix my ship. A hero to you, maybe. What do you think? I'll consider it. Yeah, that's where I'm at, too, because it's the only one that lets me, like, do it. I trust you will listen to your conscience. Oh, yeah. Can I break this? Don't. Stop wasting my motherfucking time! <laughs> <laughs> that's a little bit of heat for you guys. I saw a Michael Mann film, in case you guys didn't know. Got a... Huge ass! Can I take these? No. God, I can't you steal can. any. Well, no one's looking, man. You can duck and take them. I don't like it, though, because then they don't like me. They only don't like you if you get caught. Maybe you don't. Because your conscience is compromised, Michael. <laughs> it is. I steal all items. Geothermal? How do I get there? Fuck. Is it in here? I guess we can find out. Nope, that's not it. What is this, though? It's a thing with stuff in it. I think you just took everything. What? Oh, no, oh there it is. Okay, it's a locker. Got it. Are these toilets? Can I take... Can I drop a deuce? <laughs> can I drop a deuce? Yeah, I think you gotta go outside. Alright, well... There's nothing here, right? Like, Need so... your map, bro. God damn it, Marshall. We're going down here, so we just have to get out of this valley, I guess. Okay. I'm going down, down. Hey, what up, Bruiser? Little big chicken. Can't talk. talk to it. He's chatty. He's having a good time. I like that you can sprint, but then if you stop moving, it, it reverts you back to walking automatically. That's a nice feature. Look at that beautiful view, man. It's not the best choice. It's Spacer's choice. Wow. That's a great slogan. When you're selling shit. Bunch of garbage. Tap that gun sideways to turn your opponent into a red source of red mana? What does that even mean? Oh, Jesus. Oh, you're a bad thing, aren't you? This feels like a worse idea than I originally thought it was. Oh, wow. Oh, God. I almost got it. I don't think so, man. No, these are smaller though. That one was like a boss. It was like a boss. Look, I got a corporation, sir. A medium sized award, typical of the kind given out at annual company achievement banquet galaxy wide. And then a necklace. And then a jeweler, jeweled ring. Look at all the shit it had. Oh, a light machine gun? Oh, yes. 
Is my gun all messed up? Damage 18. Is that how much it can take? Oh, that's a heavy weapon. So? Wait, you think I can't carry it? So we're not good at those. Bitch, I'm the best at those. Oh, a little beak? I'll take your beak. God, he's picking up all the bullshit. Look at this. 600 XP for that? God damn. Let's save it. Save it! That looks great. I like it. I always oh. wanted to poke around in here. Oh. Uh oh. Security patrol. Incoming! Got him. Oh god, there's too much. I would do two of those. Lethality now reduced. Why are you turning around? Yo, it's out of billets. Billets? Mm -hmm. Oh shit, you're right. Ten there. Point. God, where do my bullets go? You used a bunch of them with this thing. Well, that's awkward. We're, you okay? Alright. Looks like you're gonna have to knife them. Where are my bullets? I just wanna kill these robots. Alright, I don't wanna leave here. Robots. Light machine gun, though it's a heavy weapon. My immersion is ruined. Yeah, you got it's a real suspension of disbelief here. Hey, he had some ammo. I don't think it was the right kind, though. No, it was heavy ammo. So, I don't know what that's even for, Maybe then. This isn't heavy ammo. I don't know. You don't know anything, do you? I don't know nothing. God, you just pretend to know stuff, and then you don't. You, then you don't. I just feel like I'm gonna need some real ammo before I get killed here. Although I feel like I just took out most of the the robot boys. Them robot boys are at it again. They sure are. Look at that moon face. You're a moon face. <laughs> Got oh, we, him. We can sell some stuff here. That's pretty convenient. That is convenient. Got some light ammo. Oh, look, light ammo works for this, so. Yeah. Uh, maybe this is a light weapon. Let's see if we can buy some ammo. I, I imagine if it's got light in the name, it's a light weapon, right? Oh, it says skill heavy weapons. It's a, it's, a, it. it's a light machine gun that uses light ammo, but it's a heavy weapon. Get the fuck out of here with that. Buy some billets. All right, ready to sell all this nonsense? I'm gonna sell this hibernation suit. How do I do it again? E. Uh, sword. Damage 36, damage 36. Oh, that's how much it does. I'm looking at condition, that's what I wanna look at, okay. Don't care about you. Energy cell, power energy, okay, so I'm not Did gonna sell Did you sell your equipped armor? No. This is my equipped armor. Okay. You stupid. Why are these different? Heals 25% health over two seconds. That's Adrena time. Oh, that's Adreno and that's Adrena. That's Adrena time. Okay, that's... I don't care about this then. Right? Sure. Sure. Sure, you don't care about it. Armor parts? Do I want those? 
probably. How about hardened ar ar armor rating plus 10? Don't care. Ooh, what is this? Snared troop? Ooh, like that. We have to compare that, see which one's better. Don't tell me what to do. Fine. Where can I get ammo? Frozen dinner. Buy. There's ammo right there. Heavy ammo? Light ammo. I buy it all. E to buy. 50? How much does that cost? Oh god, I have like no money. I have 199 bits. This is going to cost 100 of it. That's fine. Alright. Well. The control room should be off to the right. I hope we're doing the right thing. We are. Don't worry about it. Oh shit. You're not still, so it doesn't really matter. It didn't see me. You're not still. Ammo. An energy cell? I don't even have energy weapons. Dang yep. It. That's yet. That's the key. Hey, look, it's uh. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking okay, about. Okay, we should blow on that. Shut up, man. I wanted to see if I could knock it off. <laughs> Unlock you off, punk. Unlock the office door. Done. Messages. I hate reading terminal stuff. It just I never do it. I it's just too so it's too much, yeah. I mean I'm all about being immersed in the door, man. What what door? The door we unlocked. That that was the door we unlocked. No, the other one. What other one? That one right freaking in front of your face. How do you know it wasn't the other one? I guess I don't. What do I don't have Goombas. This is just a bathroom, my dude. Yeah, but there's a Goomba box in it. Why are you calling it a Goomba box? Why not? Uh, I don't know. I just want to know why. It looks like a little Goombas. Does it? No. What really. format is this? This is limited. Alright, what do we got here? Some Siggies. <sighs> Plant status. This access burner is the sister's choice. Okay. Structural damage detected, please notify us. Okay, redirect the power. Uh, how do I... Manual override required. Tab. Wait, it didn't work? I gotta, I gotta manually override it. Three switches. That'll be easy enough. It won't be, I bet. If she had to say Wait, that. Wait, don't you gotta choose where to redirect the power? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking I'm doing. You look at Goomba. Oh, so close. Man, we gotta... Oh, look at all that ammo. We gotta up our lockpicking skill. Enter the passcode. How do I know the passcode? Oh. Apparently you do. Spacer Tobson. Okay, well, there you go. Oh, dang it. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, didn't I have better armor to try out? I need a different armor. Yeah, let's do that. Nope. Yeah. That looks cooler, at least. I feel like this helmet makes me look like a friggin' Mandalorian or something. That doesn't do anything. You're not taking advantage of your stealth. Maybe you're not. Where am I going? 15... this way. Oh no, I mean, this was the starting weapon, so... 
I gotta imagine this would be pretty bad. Yeah, pretty bad. I heard a thing. Alright. Routing switch. Maybe you can. It's actually surprisingly effective. I mean, melees typically do a lot of damage. Yeah, but I have no melee skills in my skill tree. Yeah, but I mean, when you get up close, it does a lot of damage. Better suck on a juice stick. Suck on a juice stick. Michael B, 2019. Take it easy. Shut up, Higgins. Higgins? That was his name. How did you know that? The head on the subtitle. Oh. I use big brain. I use big not brain. Not real. You're not real. Higgins, I'm real, buddy. Now you're going the wrong way. I'm just looking, man. You're not real. You're not real. Is he down here? Mitch, I don't know your life. Wow. Oh, Mitch, right there. You're not real. You're not real. Get away from me, Phantom. Shoot. Scram. Calm down. I'm not trying. Great. Another lunatic. <laughs> you can talk? The Phantom's never talked before. <sighs> I knew I shouldn't have eaten that sprat raw. See? See, Higgins? This is why you must always boil your sprats before ingesting. Clearly, I mistook you for one of the phantoms of my imagination, which terrorized me on occasion. Chester D. Higgins. The D stands for definitely not insane. Clearly. And I use it as a reminder. <laughs> I'll just be on my way. How long have you been down here? What is it you do here? Oh, Higgins has been many things over the years. Sprat Wrangler, Saltuna Critic, Aether Wave Personality, Chairman of the Board, Galactic Defender, Sisty Pig Tycoon. I've huh. come a long way for someone who started off as a simple engineer right here in this plant. You were an engineer? How have you been surviving all this time? What happened to this place? What well, hey. Mechanicals lost their bolts. Opened fire on anything that moved. It was pandemonium. And you weren't killed? I was on cleaning duty at the time. My old boss had me scrubbing pipes when the killing started. So, as usual, I missed out. Man. You mentioned being an engineer? I specialized in auto mechanicals, drones, sentries. Repaired them, maintained, upgraded. Did it all from my old workroom just over in the next section. If you worked on these mechanicals, you must have a way to stop them, right? Was that before or after you became a cyst pig tycoon? How have you been living down here? Look, I don't want to fall into any trouble with the mechanicals. If they wise up to our plans, they will come for us with prodding irons. Oh. I can deal with the mechanicals. I made it this far, didn't I? You know, you remind me of myself back when I was an intergalactic adventurer. I discovered a flaw. Their hostility levels were hardwired to maximum. There's no changing that, but you could rewrite their targeting protocol so they attack each other instead. Mechanicals follow the behavior of the logic module. Someone tampered with it. Yes, that's exactly it. I see you're also versed in the noble art of mechanical engineering. There's a behavior control terminal in the other room. It should have options to change how the mechanicals act, including whom they shoot at. Oh, now that reminds me. You'll need my passcode to access the behavior control terminal. Here, let me just write it down for you. Thanks, Charles. The tail. Definitely start with the tail. If you're feeling adventurous, the ears are a particular delicacy. Uh, 
how have you been surviving? Jimmy'd opened the vending machines. That lasted a good couple of months. Eventually, I had to resort to more unconventional means of filling my insides. Uh, what does that mean? Braised. Boiled. Charred. Skewered. Sprats are good eating, friend. Chock full of brain food. Yeah. Uh... Mechanicals lost their bolts. Open fire on There's anything no that option. moved. It was pandemonium. You mean, why did the mechanicals go on a murderous rampage? <laughs> Same reason any of us do, I suppose. The voices told them to do it. Yikes. I was on cleaning duty at the time. My old boss had me scrubbing pipes this? when the killing no. start. Oh, okay. Oh, I can sleep? Guide to mechanical engineering. Remember that gives you special sets. If you read it. I know what I have to do. Sorry. Um. Quests. No, you were just at it. Really? There we go. I think I guess maybe just holding it is is enough. Hmm. All right. Um. You doing okay? Yes. I'm just checking up on you, yes, man. Yes, father. Other side. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. Yep, you're right. That's how ladders work. Wow. I know it was very confusing for you. I'm not smart. Where'd my companion go? Wish I could. You can? Okay. Wait, go the other way. Alright. Nope. Mine steam. You're liable to get scalded. Thank you. Here they come! That's an enemy, yo. I know, I don't care. We're not getting through! Trying to juice up. <laughs> Gotta stay juiced. Use your machine gun, man. I don't want to waste my ammo, man. And then you never use the gun again. Jesus. All right. Woo! All right. Flaw tutorial. During your adventures, things they have in your character that can trigger a flaw offer. Taking the flaw is optional, but doing so provides you with a perk. Robophobia. Auto mechanicals now give you the willies, and when they're attacking your party, you're not as effective as you should be. I get a perk point, though. That's not worth it. No, I'm gonna reject that. Okay, am I in the right quest? Like, I want to make sure I do send it to the... Redirect it to... Different power from the geothermal plane. You deliver your message with... Head to the Joe Throne Reader. Ideal Plants Master Controls are printing the three switches will be activated. Okay, I think we're on the, the right. Power to Miss McDevitt? What happens to the veil? Where are we headed? Oh, okay. You just you didn't wanna you didn't have a real conversation. You were just asking me some some tidbits. Oh shit. I just don't feel like it's worth using all this for this stupid. System keeping the area. Get ready. For <laughs> Good lord. Buddy, I know it. Oh god. Oh god. Gotta go. This is too many robots. I don't know what's going on. Okay, I do need to actually do that. Don't touch the thing. Oh. 
Okay, so how do I how do I make that? How do I get this part on my? I think it is already popped up. Wants you on my on my thing. Oh, yeah, it's already. See, it's right there. It's that one, I think. Oh, that is. I think she's dead. Who cares? Wow, Mike B, ladies and gentlemen. It doesn't make sense that it'd be here though. Like I feel like I should go up and keep checking. Go that way. Left. This way? Yeah. There you go. Is Mike a ladder engineer? I don't know, dude. Up them stairs. Where? Stairs. Where are you fucking looking? Right. No, wrong way. Over there. To the right. Keep going. Oh, there, there we go. go. Okay. They were hidden by a wall, my dude. Modify behavior. Select new mode. Okay, select new target. Define intruders. Nice. Oh, yeah. Alright, so now we just saved ourselves a shit ton of work. You know, they'll kill each other. Which is what I've always hoped you would do. Kill each other? There's only one of me, man. For now. You only have four bullets, man. I don't think there's one. Oh, oh. Oh, I forgot about that. Look at you. I am smart. Around. Yeah, this is why I didn't want to use my stupid thing, man. They're different bullets. No, they're not. It's the R, but it's weird, because, like, if I use one, the other one gets drained. I don't know, man. Maybe I'm crazy. Either way, this thing sucks. I don't want to... Yeah, but I like the view of it. I don't want to carry around the big one if I'm not shooting Just anything. Pull your goddamn knife or... That's still a lot of... It's a whole thing. Are you going to miss, you're gonna miss like, one pixel of something? Okay. Incoming! What? Why aren't you killing it? What? Because they only try to throw them around. There's only one of them left. Oh, that's some bullshit. Got him. Bitch. Got him. All right. So whatever he, uh, I'm gonna, gonna. Okay. Okay. Nope. Nothing there. Okay. Did I get you? Nope. All right. I think we're good. Let's go up these stairs with Havarti cheese. Up these stairs with Havarti cheese. This way to go. No, but I'm just exploring, man. Haven't you ever, haven't you ever just appreciated the thrill of exploring? No. Oh, that's too bad. What that is? I don't care. I don't. I just don't. What is this? A book. Borrowed a copy of Young Spacer's Guide to Mechanics. I think it's Volume Three. I need something to read down in the pit. C. Higgins. Oh yes, that's what we're talking about. Give me that. Give me that sweet, sweet ammunition. And yet you're not gonna go through that door. That's what door? Choice. Where do you see these things? In front of your eyeballs. I'm so bad at it, dude. How can you not see a clear door? Well, let's take you back to the same place anyway. So okay, so the difficulty we're just on normal. The standard, if you will. Toilets. I feel like we're just missing out on so much. I just want to up our our lock pick to like a hundred next time. Do it. See if I care. Do you think you'd care? You can probably switch along for a while. I think we got plenty of points in that for now. All right, which way am I going? Look for the yeah, green dot. This way, but I have to go. All right, so we'll go this way. There's another door you missed in here too. I can't. I can't with you right now. Psst. Go up them stairs, or slope. Now turn around. Go over there. Uh, it's, oh. it's barred, Michael. Well, this isn't definitely not the right. Well, no, because I was in there and I unlocked this door, remember? Right, yeah. So, so this, is, this is definitely where you need to be. Let's 
go up here. Okay. Feeling? Okay. What okay. skills? Uh, mostly speech, some weapons, and some uh, snick. Oh, that's the barred one. Nice. Yeah. Okay, so we're on the right. We're on the right track. Okay, so I think we're doing it. I think we... There you go. Blast. Look at that square power. Power cubes! That'll burn your throat! Yeah, this is probably where we get to pick where to go. Or pick where to convert it. I thought we did that already. No, I don't think so. Maybe you're right. Is this how they make Sunny D? Yeah, that Once was just we Sunny do this, there's no going. Hey, mister. Look, I know you want your power regulator and all, but I just gotta ask you. Do you understand what you're about to do? I don't. I wouldn't mind hearing your opinion. I don't think you should cut off Edgewater's power. I think it would be cruel. I I'm sorry. That just sort of came out all at once. Edwater's hurting. We've been losing workers year after year, and corporate hardly ever sends replacements. There's barely enough Saltuna to fill our bellies anymore. But the town's got some good people in it. Decent, oh, hard-working folk dilemma. just living their lives the only way they know how. They don't deserve to be punished. Reed tells me Edgewater's gonna die without workers in power. The deserters are a community I can't destroy what they built. Miss McDevitt's built something beautiful. Somehow she's talked the ground into giving life again. It's plain to see she's made the Vale a better place. Fed the hungry, tended the sick. Gave a home to those that had none. But Miss McDevitt delights in Edgewater's suffering. She wants to hurt the town. Do you really want to be party to that kind of hatred? This is, these are not, I don't want to make these decisions, man. Gotta make that sure one. sounds like Mr. Thompson. If he was standing here, I imagine he'd remind us of how we're all one big, happy Spacer's Choice family. In Mr. Thompson's eyes, those deserters are still part of the Spacer's Choice family. The family must work together in order to survive. I hate to say it, but I think Mr. Thompson's got a point. Unless those deserters come back, Edgewater's as good as dead. I'll give you my two cents. Cutting off their power might be the only way. Edgewater's probably easier to sell and trade stuff. <laughs> wow, what a fucking scumbag. <laughs> I thought it was going to be like a serious, like, you know, man, I just think. I but think to be fair, the old lady is very biased. So she was the only one that was, like, nice in that town. You don't really know anything about him. Sorry, I didn't mean to babble on like that. I just. I don't think there's any good like option I had here, to, to be something. honest. Because I don't like the Reed guy or whatever. Can I do a vote in the chat? How do I do vote? I don't know, man. I don't know how to do a vote. What do you guys think? Is it Edgewater or is it... I'm glad you did. I like hearing from you. Don't worry about it. I was barely listening to you. Jesus. Really? I mean, wow. I think it's Thanks. I, no one's ever told me those words in that order. Option one, option ten. Okay, so... Is that right? Edgewater. Or what's the other one? Is that correct? I don't even know if I'm doing this correctly. Or you gotta put it in carrots, I think. I wasn't sure if that There's two distinct options. Okay. Oh, it's like seconds. Okay, so sixty. Okay. All right, poll. Chat's in the poll. I'd love to stay and watch, but I'm really trying to avoid spoilers for myself. Lance, enjoy the game when you when you start playing it, buddy. It's it's you guys pretty decent. To, you guys forgot to use quotes. You got to use quotes to officially vote. Is that true? Oh, well, we can. I guess we can just read them. That's probably fine. Two for Edgewater. I'm I'm also leaning towards Edgewater. It's actually like three for Edgewater. Redirect path. No, that's this is the same one. It's just misspelled. No, but there. One, two. Oh, and then three. oh, so it's three to two right now. Yeah. 
three to four. I think there's more desserts at this point. Edgehard 3 dessert. Oh, Jesus. <sighs> dessert water. What do you think? What do you think? Uh... See, the thing is, I don't. I think the dude at Edgewater is shit. Yeah. And I think the lady is nicer and, and is better. But I feel like for the masses, it might just be better to, to redirect to Edgewater. This is a legit. Either way, you're killing one community. Like, it's not good either way, really. Alright, you ready? Heads, Edgewater, tails, deserters, okay? Edgewater. Okay. Just make sure you guys see that it is heads. Yep, alright. Alright! God, I feel terrible right now. What? Yeah, thank goodness. I know you got some shit to say. Well, that's what she wanted. Spacer's choice representer. Uh, rep, uh, what's it? What did it say? What was the rosin for? Um, reputation increased, and I'm just like. I don't want good reputation with this shitty Spacer's Choice company. But that's what you did. <sighs> I feel bad. I feel like I made the wrong choice. What is that? It's a light bulb? How do I get out of here? Maybe use your map system. If we flip a coin for every decision like this, Frank will be two-faced by the end of the game. Wow, that's hilarious. Fire! You're, you're going the wrong way. Fuck you. You're going into the plant, not out of it. I mean, you're going into the plant. You ever think about that, you stupid dummy? This is still into the plant, man. Where do you want me to go, Michael? Tell oh, me where to go. Okay, go that way. Up? Yeah, up. Okay. Straight? Yeah, keep going straight. Look, you, go. look you got me out of here already. It's our run time so far. We are at 2.13, so I'm probably going to call it right here in this perfect spot. Can I save my game? Yes, I can. Perfect, perfect. We just made our first big decision. So uh, we're going to come back and play some more of this later. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, slam those like and subscribe buttons. Definitely let me know what you think. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching this first part of The Outer Worlds, which has been pretty sweet so far. We'll see you next time, guys.